A brand new shopping centre opened for business in Auckland today with hordes of shoppers flocking for some post-lockdown retail therapy. Commercial Bay is right next to the Britomart train station in downtown Auckland. The opening of the $1 billion development has been pushed back twice over recent months. But after a shaky start, store owners are excited to finally welcome customers. Our cameraman Dan Cook and reporter Katie Doyle went along to Commercial Bay for the grand opening. Retailers at Auckland's swanky new commercial bay say they're hopeful for the future, despite fears people won't want to whip out their credit cards after COVID-19. The new $1 billion development opened today, showcasing 120 retail options, including 27 names and the outdoor brand Edmund Hillary. I think we see a bit of a shift from the research we've done in the way that people are shopping. So kind of people are buying to last, buying local, a lot of people wanting to support New Zealand brands. So we're hopeful that we can be part of that going forward. That's Claire Hall Taylor from Edmund Hillary, which specialises in outdoor apparel, inspired by its namesake. She says it's a good day. Just so excited to be here. It's been such a long process, but um, it's an amazing centre and um, Edmund Hillary are thrilled to be part of it. The road here has been a rocky one for Commercial Bay. Its first opening day last September was pushed back due to construction delays and its second by the lockdown. All up, it's been a three-year journey for Mike Murphy from Kōkako, who has opened a coffee bar. Mr Murphy says he's lucky the building's landlord's precinct have been understanding of the financial strain facing retailers in Commercial Bay. It's been a challenge, I'll be honest, and we've definitely had to be creative in how we fund everything. But Precinct, our landlord, have been very accommodating and very understanding of everything that all tenants are going through and the delays. And obviously when you're ready to open just before the level four shutdown or the lockdown, that was really challenging. But thankfully we had the wage subsidy so we're able to hire our team and we're able to keep them on and now they're all here ready to serve coffee. Kate Jarrett from the hair salon Loxies says today has been surreal, exciting, terrifying and emotional. But she says things could have been very different with a different landlord. We've had rent being pushed out a wee bit further, which is fantastic, so we're not financially worse off, you know, to be able to be open later. And we've had um, just immense support from them in terms of fit-out costs and things like that. But everybody's agreements were different, so that was just something that we negotiated. The Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, joined shoppers for today's opening. She gave a nod to the local stores opening their doors. The fact that you have showcased New Zealand stores connected that back to the history of Auckland CBD, I think captures some of what's so important to us as people, acknowledging our history, that this has a long history, this place, but also that we do want to support our local innovators, designers, retailers, and you've given us an opportunity to do that and to showcase that. Also at the opening was a triumphant Mayor of Auckland, Phil Goff. He admits it will take time for people to come back to the city centre, but he's confident Commercial Bay will have shoppers flocking in. We've got tens of thousands of people now living in this area, in the city centre. So they are the people that will be enjoying the facilities, the bars, the cafes, the restaurants, etc. And I think that'll be, it'll be a special place to come and eat. It'll be a special place to come and shop. And I think at this time, creating jobs, attracting people back into the city, the timing is fantastic. Mr Goff says he hopes leeway is given to all people experiencing extra financial pressure due to COVID-19. But he says council won't be offering rates relief to places like Commercial Bay. I think with a, a development of this scale, probably not. I think our maximum uh, rate rebate will be up to 20000 Now, for the residential property, that sounds like a huge amount. Most of us only pay two or $3,000 in, in rates. And for a lot of small businesses, rates postponement will, will be helpful. But for really big properties, um, I guess we're looking to people to stand on their own feet at that level. So, standing on its own two feet, Commercial Bay is now open for Auckland to enjoy. For Checkpoint, Katie Doyle.